Hello and welcome to Just Event Online News at 9. I am Fatima Sidiki for the news headline. Nigeria targets 50,000 AI jobs by 2030. No plea bargain agreement with Emir Feli, says AGF. Mohammed Alabi Lawal Foundation awards scholarship to 120 students in Ilori. Federal government to invest in public private partnership for quality health service delivery. RTEAN vows to read multiple parts of Fagri, Pulganazin. NAV hairstrikes kill several terrorists, destroy logistic base in Bernu. And SEDC arrests two human traffickers in Hondo. Kano introduces 20,000 Naira stipend for schoolgirls to boost enrollment. Tikolo names 13 players for West African showdown. Now, the news in details. The federal government hopes to create about 50,000 jobs through artificial intelligence by 2030. The Minister of Communications, Innovation, and Digital Economy, Dr. Boshun Sijani, who made this known on Monday, said, as an emerging economy, it is imperative that the country formulate a far reaching national strategy to harness the potential of AI in an inclusive and responsible manner. To that effect, the minister said Nigeria is taking a unique approach to provide the expertise and perspectives needed to craft a forward-looking strategy. The attorney general of the Federation and Minister of Justice, Latif Fagbemi, has refuted reports that he signed a non-prosecution plea bargain with former governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, Godwin Emirfili. In a statement on Sunday by the spokesman for the Ministry of Justice, the AGF described the report as false. He said no such agreement exists between his office and the embarked to the former CBN governor. In continuation of the desire to educate the youth and make education accessible to everyone in Ilor, his local government area, the Muhammad Alabi Lawal Foundation awarded scholarship to 120 students in the local government. Speaking at the event which took place at Idiakwe, the state party chairman, Prince Sunday Fagwemi, commended the sponsor of the event, Honorable Ariola Fatima Lawal, and tasked the beneficiaries to make use of the opportunity. And I remarks, the face of the foundation, Honorable Ariola Lawal, acknowledged the presence of the dignitaries and stated that the gesture is in memory of her father late Governor Rear Admiral Mohammed Alabi Lawal. She commended Governor Abraman Abdurazak for his efforts to reform the educational sector in Kora and his dedication to ensure the participation of women in politics. Honorable Amiola explained that the goal of the scholarship scheme is to help the students and their parents in the pursuit of educational goals and keep them away from the Ferris Act. Beneficiaries, Abdul Kudus Abdul Salam and Safar Abdul Rahman, who spoke on behalf of others, also appreciated Honorable Ariola Fatima Lawal for the gesture, stating that the opportunity will be utilized. Mrs. Ajibike, who spoke on behalf of the parents, appreciated Honorable Ariola and stated that the gesture will ease the burden on parents, considering the current economic situation in the country. The federal government is working towards investing in public-private partnership in the health sector to ensure quality service delivery for Nigerians. The special advisor to the president on health, Dr. Salma Anas Ibrahim, who stated this said, by leveraging the expertise and resources of the private sector, it will improve access to basic healthcare service for Nigerians. The Road Transport Employers Association of Nigeria has pledged to transform the transport sector by eradicating toggery in motor parks. 
This commitment was made over the weekend by the president of the association, Musa Mohammed, in the wake of a leadership and policy training program. He emphasized that the RTEAN constitution strongly condemns any form of toggery and hooliganism. Hair strikes by Nigerian Air Force fighter jets have killed several terrorists hibernating in the Lake Chad fringes of Bruno State. The hair strikes also destroyed the terrorist hideout structure and strategic logistics base. NAV spokesperson Hair Commodore Edward said the hair strikes became imperative after the military had confirmed that the terrorist activities constituted a threat to military formations and law-abiding Nigerians residing within the locations. The Ondo State Command of the Nigerian Security and Civil Defense Corps has arrested two persons, Babatunde Oluwashola and Dada Fowowe, for allegedly involving in human trafficking. The suspects were said to be allegedly involved in recruiting three young girls to travel to Libya in April this year. The spokesman for the command, Daniel Omande, said the suspects had already made confessional statements, and after investigation, the case will be transferred to the National Agency for the Prohibition of Trafficking in Persons for further actions. The Kano State Governor, Abba Yusuf, has announced 20,000 Naira stipend for school girls in the state to encourage them to attend school. The governor who made the announcement on Sunday in his Independence Day speech said that over 45,000 school girls would benefit from the pilot scheme. The last on the news is sports. Ahead of the maiden edition of the West Africa Trophy, Nigeria's coach Steve Ticolo has named Captain Sylvester Ope to lead the 13-man team for the championship. The West Africa Trophy tournament is later to be held at the Tafaba Lewa Square Oval in Lagos from Wednesday, October 4 to 15. Come to the end of the news. Here's a recap of the story. Nigeria targets 50,000 AI jobs by 2030. No plea bargain agreement with Emir Feli, says AGF. Mohammed Alabi Lawal Foundation awards scholarship to 120 students in Ilori. Federal government to invest in public private partnership for quality health service delivery. RTEAN vows to read mortal parts of Thugri, Hulganazi, NAF hairstrikes kill several terrorists, destroy logistic base in Bernu, and SEDC arrests two human traffickers in Hondo. Kano introduces 20,000 Naira stipend for school girls to boost enrollment. Tikolo names 13 players for West African showdown. Thank you for watching Just Events Online News at 9. The greatest accomplishment is not in never falling, but in rising again after you fall. For more news, visit www.justeventsonline.com. And to read more updates, follow us on our social media platforms with the tap at Just Events Online. You can also send us an email on justeventsonline.gmail.com. I am Fatima Siriki. Good night.